Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to the National Public School channel, Chitra Durga, to the online classes. Today we are going to uh, have the look on Gentleman of Rio and Video, which is narrated by Juani Sedito. So he was uh, from New Mexico and basically he worked as a, a lawyer. The story of Gentleman is based on an actual legal case of his time. Some of the important key points of this story are Don Anselmo's ancestors lived in Rio and Medio. Don Anselmo lived in Rio and Medio, where his ancestors lived for hundreds of years, hundreds of hundreds of years, and he did the same land his ancestors had taken. Description of Don Anselmo's house. His house was small and rich but quaint. The little creek ran through his land. His orchard was gnarled and beautiful. The meaning of orchard is, orchard means a piece of land in which fruit trees are grown. Appearance of Don Anselmo. So he wore old green and faded coat which reminded the narrator of Prince Albert. And his appearance reminded him of Senator Catron. So this was the appearance of a Don Anselmo. He wore an old and green color and faded coat which reminded the narrator of Prince Albert. And also his appearance reminded him of Senator Catron. Actually, he was, he was carrying a cane which was like a skeleton of a worn out umbrella. He was followed by a dark boy who had gazelle eyes. Anselmo's way of greeting others, when the old man met Americans, he was going to everyone and he removed his cat, hat and also the gloves slowly and very carefully which reminded Charlie Chaplin. Americans were gentlemen. How these Americans were gentlemen means? When Americans got to know that old man's land was more than 8 acres, they were ready to pay more than, that, that is more money. So Don Anselmo, he was a man of principles we must say. When Americans offered him twice the money, he refused to accept it. Totally he refused to accept it because he had agreed to sell his property for $1200. The complaint of Americans. What was the complaint of the Americans? After the deal, Americans shifted to Rio and Rio. After a month, Americans complained that the children of Rio and Rio were overrunning their property. Means they were overrunning all over the they were running all over the land. Played, they were playing under the trees, built uh, some fences around and treated the flowers. So trees belong to the children of Rio and Medio. How did these trees belong to the children of Rio and Medio? When Americans complained about the ownership of trees, John Anselmo clarified that the trees belong to the children of the village. Because trees were planted for the children when a child was born in a village. So Americans solved the problem of trees. It took most of the following winter to buy the trees individually from the children of Rio and Medio. So this was the summary or the important key points of uh, that is uh, uh, gentlemen of Rio and Medio, dear children. Now the major questions based on the important points. First question is how do you say that Americans of the old man live, uh, say that the Old man lived in Rio and Medio. Second question is describe Don Anselmo's house. Explain the appearance of Don Anselmo. Fourth is how did Anselmo greet others? Fifth is how do you say that Don Anselmo was a man of principles? Seventh is what was the complaint that Americans had against the children of Rio and Medio? Next question. How do you say that the trees belong to the children of Rio and Medio? Dear children, these are the important major questions. Now let us have a look on the extract. In 
important extracts. Friend, I do not like to have you speak to me in that manner. The trees in the orchard are not mine. It took months of negotiation to come to an understanding with the old man. I did not sell the trees in the orchard. These Americans are Bruna Chente. So dear children, these are the important major questions and also important extract of this lesson, uh, gentleman of the video. So go through once. Have a good day. Thank you.